graphing rational functions. So we're here in graphing rational functions f of x equals an x minus 2, x plus 2. That's our given function. We're going to graph that. So first, we're going to identify the y-intercept, the x-intercept, the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote. We're going to have table of values, the main and range. So the first one is y-intercept. Y-intercept is the point where the graph intercept the y-axis. Example, this is the y-axis. Kung saan dumaan yung yung graph doon yung y-axis. And then, this is the, our graph. Dumaan siya dito sa 2. That's our y-intercept. So, to get that, what you're going to do is let x be equal to 0. So, ang x gawin lang na 0. So, our function f of 0 is equal to x minus 2, x plus 2, just copy, ang x, gawin mong 0. So, maging 0 minus 2, which is negative 2, 0 plus 2, that's positive 2, therefore, our x is equal to, or our y is equal to negative 1, because negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So, hanapin mo dito, si y-axis, saan sa si y equals to negative 1? So, y equals to negative 1, ito di ba si y equals to negative 1? So, ibig sabihin ang graph dadaan dito ng point. Next, let's proceed with the x-intercept. And, solving for the x-intercept, what you're going to do is, itong numerator, x minus 2, x minus 2, equal mo lang siya sa 0. So, equal mo sa 0, para masolve mo si x, transpose mo si 2. So, x is equal to 2. So, x equals to 2. Dito sa x-axis, si x-intercept, kung saan point dumaan si graph. So, dahil nasolve natin, x equals to 2. Diba sa x-axis, hanapin si 2, ito si 2. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa, dito sa 2, dumaan rin yung graph. Next, the vertical asymptote. The asymptotes are the, the line on which the graph approaches but does not intersect. The example here for the asymptote is this one. This is the vertical asymptote and this is the horizontal asymptote. As you could see, itong graph natin, itong graph na ito, this is our vertical asymptote, diba? Because it's a vertical line. So, itong graph natin, ina-approach, ina-approach niya si si vertical asymptote. Yan approach siya si vertical asymptote. Pero, actually, hindi yan siya dadaan dyan. Hindi yan siya gaganyan. Hindi yan siya dadaan. It will just go into approach yan. But, it will not go into intercept, of course. Or, example for this one, i-approach na lang yan. Papunta, parang papunta siya dito sa line, pero hindi niya yan matatamaan. This is our horizontal asymptote because in our graph, it approaches this line, but it does not cross this one. So, the the distance between the two is getting smaller and smaller. That's our vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote. Pinagdag po, pero hindi tinadhana. So, to get the vertical, uh, vertical asymptote, ganito ang gagawin. The vertical asymptote is... What you're going to do, kapag dito is numerator mo, numerator ang equate mo sa 0. So, vertical asymptote, ang denominator, ito denominator, equate mo siya sa 0. So, x plus 2 equate sa 0. So, x transpose, it will become negative 2. So, this is our vertical asymptote. Sa x, hanapin si negative 2, ito si negative 2, gumawa ka ng vertical line. You may use ruler so that it would surely be straight. Next, that's our vertical asymptote. Our, our horizontal asymptote needs a rule. For the horizontal asymptote, it needs rule. This is the rule. Kapag si n is less than m, then the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. If n is equal to m, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to a, b. If n is greater than m, then there is no horizontal asymptote. But sino ba yan si n? Sino si m? Dito yan siya. Example, a x n minus, let's have d x 
n minus 1 plus plus pala. E, so on is a word. Hanggang si E na yan siya. B, x, m plus E, x, m minus 1 plus so on and so forth. Example this ganito. Si m, siya yung degree in the numerator. Degree of the polynomial in the numerator. While the m is the degree of the denominator. But, ano bang degree? Si degree, yun siyang pinakahayas na exponent. Si m, yun siyang pinakahayas exponent sa baba. So, that's the degree. So, that's n and m. So for our, our example, f of x is equal to x minus 2, x plus 2. Dito, ang highest exponent is 1. Kasi, kapag walang exponent si x, it's understandable na exponent ni x is 1. Kapag wala nakasulat na exponent, understandable na exponent niya is 1. So, ito si n. Ito si m. Kasi sila ang pinakayas na exponent. So, n equals to 1, m equals to 1. Dito, ang pinakamahayas, pinakamataas na exponent si 1. Pero kung may 2 dyan, yun siya si 2. So, n, m. So, 1, si n1, si m1, big sabihin, equal sila dalawa. So, pag equal sila, according to our rule, si if n is equal to m, and then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to ab. So, y is equal to ab. Sino si A? Sino si B? Si A, yung katabi ni Xn. Si B, ang katabi ni Xm. Dito, di ba, si, ito siya, si Xn. Ito si Xn. Or, yung may highest exponent, yung katabi ng, ni X na may pinakamataas na exponent, yun si A. Yung katabi naman ni X dito sa baba na may high exponent, yun si B. Dito, sino, anong katabi ni X? Di ba wala siyang katabi? But, kapag wala siyang katabi, it's understandable na may 1. Because mathematicians are usually kind of lazy or gusto na mabilis ang trabaho. So, hindi nila nilalagyan. So, that's 1. So, ibig sabihin, this is A. And this is B. So, kung si A si 1, si B si 1. So, Y is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So, that's our horizontal asymptote. So, and si y is equal to 1. Diba? If this is the y-axis, hanapin mo dyan si 1. Dito si 1. Next, you're going to write an horizontal line. Horizontal, pahiga. So, therefore, this is our horizontal asymptote. So, that's our horizontal asymptote. Next. We're going to have now the table of values. For us to have the table of values, we're going to identify the parts that is divided by the vertical asymptote. Ito di ba yung si vertical asymptote? Ibig sabihin, hinati na si graph sa dalawang parts, the left side and the right side. So, to have to identify the table of values or the values of x, pumili ka dito ng tatlo sa kabila ni vertical asymptote, pumili ka rin ng tatlo dito sa kabila ni, ver ni horizontal ni vertical asymptote. So, right side ni horizontal asymptote. So, piliin mo rin yung madali. However, ang pinili ko is negative 3, negative 4, madali rin si negative 5, but I choose negative 10. Again, ang pinili ko sa negative 3, negative 4, negative 10. So, tatlo sila. Next, in this side of the vertical asymptote, I choose negative 1, 0, and 3. Again, I choose negative 1, 0, and 3. So, to solve that, I solved that a while ago already. So, here are the results. But, let's have an example for negative 10. Our original function is equal to f of x is equal to x minus 2 over x plus 2. That's our original function. If you're going to see at the top, that's our original function, x minus 2 over x plus 2. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang x daw, gawin mong si negative 10. So, ang x, gawin mong negative 10. Copy minus 2 over si x. x, gawin mong negative 10 plus 2. So, negative 10 minus 2 is negative 
12 over negative 10 plus 2 will become minus because magkaibang sign. So 10 minus 2 is 8. Mas malaki si 10, the sign is negative. So negative 8. Negative divided by negative, it's positive. If you're go to, going to divide this by calculator, the answer is 1.5. So dito, the value is 1.5. If we're going to solve negative 4, the answer is 3. If we're going to solve negative 3, the answer is 5. If negative 1, negative 3 is 0, it's negative 1. If 3, it's 0 0.2. So, we're going to graph now. So, to graph, si negative 10 daw, it's negative 5. So, it's negative 10. Si x, negative 10. So, y, it's 1.5. So, 1.5. Straight siya dito. Straight rin siya dito. So, straight siya dito. Straight rin siya dyan. It's in here. If it's negative 4, it's 3. If it's negative 4, it's 3. So, straight siya sa negative 4. Straight just a negative 4, straight range is a 3, so here. So next, it's if it is negative 3, it's negative it's positive 5. If it is negative 3, it's positive 5. If it is negative 3, it's positive 5. Negative 3, positive 5. Negative 3, positive 5. So in this part, ganitong graph. If you're going to connect this, ganitong mangyayari curve. However, you may extend this part pag ganyan. So, extend mo rin dito pag ganyan. As long as it will not touch this because this is our horizontal asymptote and it will not touch this because it's our vertical asymptote. Next. If it is negative 1, negative 1, it's negative 3. If it is negative 1, it's negative 3. If it is 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. We solved that already because that's our y-intercept. To 3, 0 0.2. If it is 3, 0 0.2. So, it's sa taas ng kaunti. So, as you can see, itong, itong 4. Connect mo lang yung 4. Extend mo lang dito. Kabila. Extend mo rin dito sa kabila. So, this is our graph. However, we need to identify the domain and the range. The domain... If you're going to, to identify the domain, these are the values of x. Na may value ang y. Or it was passed through. It has values of y. So, to identify the domain, this is what you're going to do. This is... The domain is x such that x... You're going to take a look at the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote, diba, is x equals to 2. Dito, sa domain magiging not equal to 2. Ibig sabihin yan, but this is not 2. Walang values dyan ang hindi yan dadaan dyan ang graph. So that's the domain. The range, titignan lang mo sa horizontal asymptote. So, y, such that y is not, you're, you're going to use y because it's the range, is not equal to 1. Ibig sabihin yan, lahat my values ang y or lahat ng y my values corresponding value na x except so 1 so 1 kasi hindi dadaan dyan ang graph kapag y is equal to 1 so that's how we're going to graph rational function